How have the PTZ optics cameras helped me to lead class for both in-person and remote students? Well, I don't think I could lead class for both in-person and remote students without them because I need the cameras to uh, keep everyone engaged and feeling connected. Well, obviously they were, they were necessary uh, during the pandemic situation where the college was officially closed but classes were taking place. I believe that that model will not go away when the pandemic goes away. At any given time when I'm teaching, I do have students in person in the classroom, and I also have students coming into that same class through Zoom, through the big screen at the front of the classroom. I also think that the drive of the college is to really look at the schools of graduate and professional studies, which include many adults, for uh, instruction that would be online. The professor could be on campus or could be at their house with a little, you know, little webcam and can offer those, those classes virtually. So I use the PTZ optics cameras to help the students to see one another while we're having a class discussion to possibly, you know, using the camera in the back of the room, I can have the remote learners see me standing in the front of the room lecturing. While I think, you know, once we leave the hybrid system with our undergraduate students, I think that there will still be reliance on cams of all kinds, you know, whether it's a huddle cam or a PZ optic or, you know, the little kind of webcam stick on our monitors. And even though the cameras were there, I hadn't even thought about the role they would play. Now, after teaching week after week after week, I've come to learn that they play a critical role in the engagement of, the, of each student, remote and physically present. I definitely need those cameras to keep the remote and in-person students engaged in the one class. The other thing on my mind is that it offered us in some of our older buildings an opportunity to be in ADA compliance so that if, you know, some of our buildings, very few of our buildings have elevators. Having cameras in place enabled me, for example, to, to build a, a graphics classroom with Haverford and felt confident that if a student with a challenge or a disability could not get to that classroom, I would not have to move that classroom to a lower level or another location. The fact that the student could participate uh, by a conference was, was a big help in getting that project done. What have I learned? I've, I've learned about using these cameras, right? I, I've never done anything like this before. I've learned how to use them, how to not use them. You know, like you don't want to be moving things around too quickly because people they lose their train of thought if you're uh, zooming in too fast or too slow. So I've learned to kind of be very careful about when I do that. There's so much I've learned in, in the time of the pandemic and in being an instructor and using technology, but specific to the use of the cameras in the classroom, those are the things I've learned.